to him opening up opportunities for his teammates. Uh, James Carnick going in strong. He's 6'9", the senior. Lehigh transfer and very capable of having a pretty good game. He had 20 against Syracuse. And this job and the opportunity to cover um, these players. It was so nice just to connect with these guys again throughout the past week over Zoom, um, over the phone calls. It just made me realize how much I missed being a part of this league. Well, that was wonderful having you back. It really is. And, uh, you know, Coach K talked about this too. And playing with tremendous energy to start the half. And we've talked about the Blue Devils, but you can tell Boston College, they don't want their season to end either. We've got a number of guys here playing with tremendous energy, tremendous effort. And you can see it's becoming contagious along their bench as well. Uh, tomorrow at 2.30. The drive and kick to Stewart in the lane opens up a bit. What a smart play that was. Oh, they have to do that. Yeah, you're going to give up that dunk. I got a stat for you, Jake. Carolina's got nine assists on 11 field goals and eight different Tar Heels already have an assist in this. Uh, let's talk about moving the ball and being unselfish. What a great shot by Stewart. Gary A, not only part of that three way tie for the team lead in scoring, but. At 9.4 rebounds per game, he's second in the Big East behind Justin Champagne of Pitt. DJ Stewart wide open. Richmond is such a good defender, Sean. And he leads the nation in steals rate, which is the amount of steals he gets per minute played. Leads this Syracuse team in steals. He's long armed and he's got a great anticipation for where the ball's going. DJ wow. Stewart, 24% for the year. We're down to two minutes to go in the first half. Duke impressive of late and impressive again tonight. That's a two. Corner for the freshman Jeremy Roach. Louisville in transition and a block for Matthew Hurt. Boy, the last possession, Louisville did a really nice job of helping and recovering. How well these two teams played. He described him as a self-made player. And step back move just couldn't get it to go, uh, but but he wasn't heavily recruited out of Cincinnati In, in fact, you know, Chris Mack didn't recruit him for Xavier Mark Williams really wanting that basketball in that 20th rebound. It'll be Stewart on the breakaway Yeah, 28 against Florida State and he's gonna be the guy if Boston College is going to have an opportunity to knock off the Blue Devils here in Greensboro Jay Heath is gonna have to have a big performance but DJ Stewart will be on the end. Good box out by Brakefield. He's boxing out Armando Bacon, who had an opportunity to go after that rebound, but Brakefield just took his legs out. Wow, Stewart with some deterrent. Not gaining advantage. We did have a little issue with Matthew Hurt Smith. Uh, what in the world? Was that? That, was, uh, that was ungood to put the technical term on it. The three ball from the corner. And Working hard to get better at getting his own shot. Alan Griffin hoisted one. Williams knocked it away from Garrier. Now Stewart in transition. Fouled. And a chance for a giant in the right place off a of ricochet from Garrier. Yeah, Garrier able to keep it alive. Hurt at inside position, but still he was able to knock it away. Hurt was limping a little bit. I don't know. Twisted an ankle or something. Really nice backdoor play, DJ Stewart. That's a tough finish over Armando Bacot. But Garrison Brooks had had almost next level understanding of, of how to defend as a college player. And Carolina actually gives out a different field with nine points off the bench in the first half. Now Stewart has it blocked by Morcel. And what a play, and what a play to keep it alive. Well, you don't see they left off against the Wolf Pack. Matthew Hurt buries the three to open the score. When we spoke to Steve Forbes yesterday, he said, look, that dude has been a problem. Uh, that he really... And I like the fact that Wendell Moore's playing well because he could be one of the leaders that they need. They need somebody who's producing for some of these young guys to say, okay, how he's doing it does work. ...are leaving the floor. Off balance, Jalen Johnson, rebound sharp. Yeah, Whoa. Not Sorry. the shot. Well, he, he's one of the pillars of Philly. You think John Chaney, you think Sonny Hill, you know, of course, Will Chamberlain. But, you know, when you talk Philly. And finding the right balance between being disciplined and confident, it's really hard. 
especially when you're 500 at this point in the season. DeVoe trying to turn the corner, lost his footing, and still... Pitt's got to be careful. This favors Duke. They're getting up and down the floor. They're better in transition because they can do what Coach K said he wants them to do, and that is play instinctually. Think less.